Bunny, hang on, mate. Roadkill Bar and Grill. Get it in the boot, Bo. Get it in the boot. So, I've just picked up this bunny off the side of the road. He looks in really good condition. I mean, his eyes are gone, the corvids have been at him, but I can't feel any breakages in the legs, the shoulders. He seems in really good condition. He's still got rigor as well, which is a good sign. Now, this is very impromptu. I am on the side of the road in a lay-by, but I need to get the guts out of this thing if we want to keep it in good nick. But there you go, look. Hey, side of the road. There are no lengths I won't go to to get the game, baby. And just have a look. I'm either incredibly organised or sad, but I always travel with my barbecue, my cooker, frying pan, oil, wipes. I got my gloves. Right, let's get the guts out of this thing. You'll have to excuse the wind. I cannot do anything about that. But yeah, it's in really, really good condition. Just have a look in there. Like I said, apart from the head, Corvids have had the eyes. I don't know if it was it on the head, I don't know, but the rest is in tip-top condition. There she is. Talk about impromptu, eh? Right, let's get this jacket off. Okay, so very quickly take his jacket off. So as you can see then, a little bit of damage on that front end, so obviously that's where it was hit. So, counts by the good ribs, through, that can be boned out, burgers, sausages, whatever, but this is roadkill, this is what we're left with, not bad at all, the prime cuts. So, I'm going to just quickly nip off the legs. One each side, snap it through. So we got us one loin, one saddle, two great back legs. So what I'm gonna do then quickly, I'm gonna give this a wash off, wipe off my block, and then we'll get into preparing these a little further for whatever dish we're gonna cook, because it's all a bonus. It's free food, just lying on the road. So, just have this rabbit soaking in a very, very mild salt solution. Just cold water and a bit of salt. Draws all the excess blood out. Tidies it up a bit, just gonna Dry it off, there's those legs and that loin. So as you can see then, those legs, they need no work whatsoever. They're ready to go in whatever we cook. And then we just wanna deal with this saddle, this loin. I'm going to just take the belly off. Again, sausages, burgers, meatballs. Then I just want to prepare this. I think I'm going to leave it on the bone. So with my loin then, I've just took off the belly flaps, the silver skin. I'm going to leave that whole, I think. So whatever we get out of this now, whatever meal we cook is a free meal. It's an impromptu meal. You know, this would have just gone a waste. Would have been, I suppose, splattered into the road. The corvids, crows, magpies would have ate it. But now we get to eat it. And have a look at that, look. Not bad, is it, for nothing? I think what we will do before we go any further, I think I'm gonna keep that loin on the bone, like I said, and I'm just going to split it in half. Look at that for prime rabbit meat, eh? It really is a beautiful meat. Right, I'm gonna get that on chill. 
so for my bunny then, I think we'll make a nice rabbit stew. Now you could keep it old school, you know the drill. Brown your pieces of rabbit, get it in a pot, add some carrots, celery, and some onions. Now top it up either with cider or chicken stock or even water, get some thyme in there, bay leaves, whack it in the oven, leave it to do its thing. But what I wanna do with this bunny is pimp it up a bit, so I'm gonna go on a bit of a Spanish tip. So I'm gonna make a rabbit stew. I'm gonna use tomatoes, some smoked paprika, some nice chorizo, some roasted peppers, some garlic, and some chicken stock. Hey? And then finish with a bit of parsley. How's that for roadkill? So first thing we need to do then is to cut this beautiful chorizo, have a look at it, into bite-sized chunks and get it lightly frying, releasing that lovely smoky oils. What a base to build a bunny. So just a little oil in the pan, what a decent hour for this. By all means, you know, take the skin off, I'm not gonna bother. Nice bite-sized chunks. It's lovely stuff, isn't it? And we'll just get that in our pan. Let it do its thing. While I'm waiting for my chorizo to release its lovely oil, just gonna season old uh, bright eyes up, bit of pepper each side, some salt, just a basic seasoning. We wanna make sure we get a decent, deep caramelization on this rabbit. Wonderful. So that has released its oil, as you can see there, look at that. Get this out very quickly. Straight into that oil with our seasoned rabbit. If you watch the colour now, it will take on that beautiful golden red paprika infused oil. We want to get it nice and golden. Just take your time browning off your rabbit, five or ten minutes, whatever it takes, it wants to look like that. Look at that. Then in with the chorizo, back in, get that juice in there. Some tomatoes, about half a tin. Our chopped garlic, which I've crushed, four garlic cloves. Get it that into the mix. You just know this is gonna be a winner. Just look what's in there. A good tablespoon of this wonderful smoked paprika. And just have a look at your mix. You don't want it too dry. I may just add a little bit more tomato. Now you can roast your own peppers, but why bother when you can get them like this out of this jar if they'll come out? Come on, you beauty. Give them a quick chop. I want it quite rustic, really. And get that in there. Can I use another? Man, that is a monster, look at it. Just use a bit of that. Not too fussy, you know, this is proper cooking, rustic cooking. It's gonna look amazing, whatever happens from here on in. I mean, just look at the colors in that pot. What I'm gonna do then, just top it up. Got about 300 mil of chicken stock there. Give it a mix. I wanna bring that up to heat. Put a lid on and then simmer. Okay, lid on then and we'll simmer that. We'll check on it in 45 minutes. We want it till the meat is falling off that bone. Okay, so it's only been going for about 30 minutes, but I just want to add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce made about 20 minutes from my house. Classic. If you've never had What's the sauce in your tomatoes? You need to give it a go. It was a go-to breakfast when I was growing up. Bacon with some nice tomatoes and Worcester sauce really takes some beating, really steps it up a notch. Get some of that in there, let's have a taste. Oh yeah. Oh. So lid back on then, we'll give it a seasoning when we check it in another 30 minutes. Tastes amazing mind already. Right then, this has been bubbling away for two and a half hours. It's nearly done. 
I just want to add a few more ingredients so just some nice fresh parsley do not worry about it being Michelin star styly just get it in there and then just to sharpen it up the juice of a lemon always get a pip in it even through my fingers get that in there nice and fresh citrus to hit it give that a stir up right I just want to give it a quick taste I know I've just put that parsley in but I just want to see what the sauce is like oh so good so so good it's a bit of salt now this is one of those dishes which the next day would be even better it would take it to another level but we haven't got time to wait on the SRP so I'm just going to give that another 30 minutes, so that'll be three hours altogether. Then we'll dish it up. But look at that, hey? Well, it's safe to say that is looking a million miles away from the little bunny we picked up on the side of the road. Good old roadkill rabbit. Right, 30 more minutes. We can try it. What a journey that bunny has been on. Let's just have a look at what it looks like. Just look at that. That is ready to fall off the bone. Just look at it. Let's pull it. It's almost pulled rabbit. So, bit of chorizo. 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 Bit of chorizo. Get in that sauce. The sauce is just awesome. Have a go on that. Wow, fresh, spicy, and like I said, save that for a day, even better. It's awesome. <laughs> that sauce, if I can show you, just look at it. Hey, mm -mm. give me rabbit. Lovely kick from the paprika, it's just beautiful. Let's have a quick look at that rabbit leg. See how well it's cooked. If we can use a spoon just to break into it. Can you see how juicy that is? Just look at it. Stunning. Good old bunnikins, eh? There is just so much going on in this dish. I can't stop eating it. This is ridiculous. Hmm. Just pick up the bone. Oh, that'll do me. The SRP Road Kill Rabbit Stew in a Spanish style. Awesome. So you guys know the drill by now. Click on my beautiful face when it comes up down here. Join the SRP, come on the journey, join the movement. It's gathering momentum. I release a video every week and it's free. I've also got a great back catalogue for you to peruse. So yes, click on my face. Also on my social media, on my Facebook, I've got two pages, Scott Re. Click follow and on the Scott Re project, click follow. Also on my Twitter, at Scott Re project. And if you fancy it, please do check out my Patreon page. So until next time, I know I've said it already, but what a journey, what a transformation old bunnykins has been on and you know it was absolutely sublime i mean i'm not saying go and knock a bunny down to eat it but you know get yourself a bunny give it a go take care all the best